Hi guys, Daz here with another episode of my top 20 selling comic books of the week. This time it is episode 122 and today I'm going to be discussing the best selling comics on eBay for the week ending the 26th of February 2021. Now since CoverPrice.com came on the scene, they've become a go-to spot for watching eBay trends on comics and they scour thousands of eBay sales to culminate data to spotlight the hottest selling books. As always guys, let's find out if you can beat me. Most people normally do. And pretty much the talk of the comic book world at the moment is WandaVision. It was a slow burner for me, but it's really picked up the last couple of episodes. And one character seems to be getting really showcased at the moment, and that is Monica Rambeau. And she's gone by many aliases. It's her first appearance as Spectrum in this issue, this gaining some heat. This is the issue where we see her powers for the first time that turn on and we see the full spectrum of her energy waves. Other collectors are thinking that Photon might be the, the name of her superhero identity. I would say it'd probably be Spectrum just with the lights that we've seen from her powers. But the issue number 20 on our list is Mighty Avengers issue number one from 2013. Like I said, the first appearance of her identity as Spectrum. And what did it do? Well, it sold 10 copies and had a seven day trend plus 108% with a high sale raw copy going for $35. I've seen that book plenty in the past. I will see it again. I'll snag it, I wouldn't overpay. Number 19 on our list is a Bronze Age bit of goodness from Marvel and is again related to WandaVision. We've seen now, obviously, spoilers, that Agatha Harkness is the big bad. And uh, I have her first appearance, and it's a, it's a crazily expensive book right now. Mine's a, a pretty immaculate copy. Honestly, to look at the cover, you would think it would be a 9496. It is that sweet, but it's detached at one staple, so I don't know what that would do for it. Still, happy to own it. But... Agatha Harkness took Wanda down into the basement and revealed herself. We saw the flashback with the witch's coven. And it was all about the Dark Horde, which was created by a character called uh, Scython. Or, or, yeah, yeah, I think it's Scython. And Scython's first appearance comes in this issue. It is Avengers issue 186, guys. Again, I think I may have seen this on my travels. Probably at a con. I don't think I've ever seen it in a comic shop as such. But it's on my radar now. Do I think we'll see Scython? Probably not. But there's a lot of spec towards that character at the moment. And that book sold 26 copies. It had a 7 day trend plus 101%. With a high sale CGC 9.6. Going for $177.50. I see the song that Agatha came out with to basically reveal herself. That's trending quite a lot now on different uh, social media platforms. Bizarre. 18 on our list. Good to see a bit of DC on there. And uh, this is a book I made a hot comic book alert about. And it was a bit of TV spec. And that's a bit hit and miss normally. But this one's been in my top 20 for a couple of weeks now. We are getting the Batwoman uh, season 2 obviously right now. And this new villain has just been spoke about. And that is Wolf Spider. And Wolf Spider first appearances in Batwoman issue 26 and this is the new 52 run guys and wolf spider is evan blake and it's always nice when you get that first appearance on the cover as well and i think that's what's boosting this book it sold 11 copies it had a seven day trend plus 245 percent with a high sale raw copy going for 16 dollars and 99 cents i picked mine up for three pound 50 of course on ebay that is our only avenue at the moment but uh it's a nice cover and I don't, I don't mind season one of Batwoman. Uh, I just wasn't a fan of Ruby Rose. I know the ratings aren't great on that show, but uh, I like cheap live action appearances. Number 17 on our list. Now, this is a book that has been in and out of my top 20 in the past. And back in July of 2020, there was a spike in interest in this team. And what team was it? It was... New Avengers, issue 7 is your issue, and the first team appearance of the Illuminati. Now, the Illuminati team is Professor X, Doctor Strange, Black Bolt, Iron Man, Namor, and the Black Panther. Now, of course, 
with one division basically taking center stage for the last few weeks, it, it's died down a little bit. But with the Disney investors uh, meeting, Secret Invasion was announced and the Illuminati played a big part of the Secret Invasion storyline. Hence, this why this book is getting renewed heat. It's a book I keep finding. It sold 24 copies. It had a seven day trend of plus 113%. With a high sale, CGC 9.8 going for $129.95. Uh, uh, I paid £1.36 for mine in February of 2020 at one of my favourite cons, the True Believers in Cheltenham. Like I said, found several of them and flipped them for good coin. Number 16 on our list, another Marvel book, this time from 1992, and it's a big boy book. We're about to get the Let It Be Carnage trailer, which I'm stoked for. I didn't mind the first Venom film, but uh, it didn't have a good enough villain from my taste. Woody Harrelson is a fantastic actor. I'm a big fan of his, and I can't wait to see him as Carnage. Number 16 on our list is Amazing Spider-Man issue 361. Of course, the first full appearance and origin of Carnage was Cletus Cassidy. Of course, he had the Ronald McDonald wig at the end of the first film. This time he's coming back. With a short back and sides, I've said it before. This is the second overall appearance of Carnage, as he had a one-panel cameo in the issue of 360 from this volume. Now, this book, this time round, sold 19 copies. It had a seven-day trend of plus 149%, with a high sale CGC 9.8, get ready for it, hitting $1,000. Oh, my days. Now, I remember when I picked this one up in the middle of 2018 in Birmingham, at one of my favorite uh, cons the Collectomania. I paid 50 pounds and I thought that was an awful lot of money to hand over and uh, it proved to be a wise investment because it is a high grade book and I see it, no signs of it slowing down I think it will rival Venom at one point uh, if done correctly. Number 14 on our list uh, sorry 15 on our list is a nice DC book it's a new title and it was a, I don't buy new books, but I was actually looking to buy this one online in a pre-sale. And even places like Forbidden Planet were doubling. I think it was like seven ninety nine or eight ninety nine. I'm not paying inflated prices pre-sale. I'm not going to do that. The book in question, though, is a nice cover, and fans are loving the Red X character. This time we've had Future State Teen Titans issue one on my top twenty for a long time, but now we've got issue two. And Red X is center stage on there. Now, his first appearance of Red X came in Teen Titans Go issue 23, a very scarce book based on the animated show. But if I'm not mistaken, wasn't that a robot? I've not read the issue, but I think it's a robot. So this could be a different character altogether. Well, the book sold 45 copies and it had a seven day trend of plus 73% with a raw copy going for a high sale of $16.99. It's going to get a little bit more dearer now, though. Number 14 on our list is a classic Silver Age book. Uh, it's from 1966, and this issue features the first appearance of the Sentinel of the Spaceways, the Silver Surfer. Now, we've had lots of Fantastic Four rumours of late. I even saw that Jennifer Lawrence may be lined up to play the Invisible Woman. Please don't let it happen. Uh, bring back the original one, you know, when Chris Evans was fantastic, uh, Miss the Human Torch. can't remember the name of the the actress who played Invisible Girl and that, but she was pretty good. Um, what is the book? 14 on our list. It is the big boy book, Fantastic Four, issue 48, and just an iconic cover, an iconic book, the first appearance of the Silver Surfer and Galactus. Just a matter of time before we get the F4 team and Galactus. Exciting times ahead. Well, the book sold 14 copies, and get ready for this, guys. It had a seven-day trend of plus 247% with a high sale, CGC 9.6. This is the record for my top 20s in all these weeks, going for $26,500. Oh, my days. I need Carby Tony to deliver. Number 13 on our list is a, a, a cheeky little series called The Micronauts. And this issue, number 13 on our list, features the first appearance of The Time Traveller who first embodied the Enigma Force, though he appears in ethereal form in Micronauts 1 and multiple issues leading into this revamped appearance. Now, the Time Traveller has a connection to the current King in Black storyline. I'm unfamiliar with it. I don't pick up new books. Um, 
but I do like Micronauts. The book in question, 13 on our list, is Micronauts issue 11, guys. There we go. There's one that's been added to my radar. I don't mind paying a little bit over the odds for back issues when it comes to the 70s and 80s, but I'm not paying it on new books. What did it do? Well, it sold 16 copies and it had a seven-day trend of plus 247% with a high-sale raw copy going for 41 bucks. Oh, my days. 12 on our list. More Micronauts, and I'm delighted to have this one in my collection because I've been looking for this for the longest time. This is the first appearance of Captain Universe in Micronauts issue 8. And there he is. There he is. Enter Captain Universe. Now, this book is heating up because Captain Universe is powered by the Enigma Force. Now, without giving too many spoilers away, the God of Light in Marvel's King in Black storyline has a direct connection to both the Enigma Force and Captain Universe. And due to this, this book sold 27 copies. It had a seven day trend of plus 132% with a high sale CGC 9.8. Wow, going for $624.95. I paid one pound for my copy in Western Supermare. If you haven't checked out my haul uh, from Western Supermare, I made two parts of it. It is in my comic hauls um, downloads list, playlist, sorry, and uh, check it out because I picked up some incredible issues for a pound. Now, Captain Universe is Ray Coffin. That is his name. So that's another great issue from the Bronze Age. And we're getting another classic Marvel Bronze Age book. And at number 11, I spoke about Monica Rambeau in great lengths. And her first appearance comes in Amazing Spider-Man Annual 16, guys. I am surprised how much this book is actually going for. Uh, am I a big fan of the character in WandaVision? Mm, so, so, so far. But I think this character is going to be here to stay. It's obvious that Marvel has big long-term plans for the character. This issue sold 17 copies. It had a seven-day trend of plus 152% and a new high sale CGC 9.8 going for $1,050. Oh, my days. Like I said, I paid £5 for mine and that was in October in 2018. So, uh, yeah, there we go. The first appearance of Captain Marvel, Monica Rambeau. She later, of course, becomes Photon and then Pulsar and Spectrum. Loads of names. We're into the big top 10, guys. I'm off to a solid start, but nothing spectacular. Please let me know in the comments how you get on, as always. Number 10 on our list, and uh, I've got to thank my good friend JT Rogers for this because it came as part of an AOK. -OK, and it is a nice independent book, and it comes from Image Comics. As noted by The Hollywood Reporter, James Tinian, comic. Department of Truth, picked up by Elizabeth Murdoch, Stacey uh, Snyder's sister, exclusive. Uh, this lift lit a huge fire under all of the various covers. And sp spilling over into the already scorching hot, something is killing the children. Number 10 on our list is Department of Truth, issue 1, the Jenny Frizen cover B. Yeah, a pretty sweet cover. I've got to be honest, I haven't read the issue yet. Basically, after a man discovers that every conspiracy theory that he'd ever studied was true, he sets out to infiltrate the organisation that has been keeping them covered up. Like I said, a nice Jenny Frizen cover that sold 28 copies, had a seven-day trend of plus 183%, with a high-sale CGC 9.8 going for $137.50. And mine was free from my good Pittsburgh friend, JT Rogers. That's the B cover. Now we move on to the A cover in at number nine on our list. This is a book I need to get, but I'm not gonna pay eBay prices. I'll find it in the wad sometime, somewhere. That's your A cover, guys. Of course, there is a secret variant to that as well. But the A cover has been selling very, very nicely. What was its numbers? Well, it sold 45 copies. It had a seven-day trend of plus 125% with a high sale CGC 9.8, going for $154.24, so nearly $17 more than the B cover. Number eight on our list is a book that is incredibly still going strong. It is, I can't believe it, X-Force, number one. Oh, my days. 
And the issue in particular is the one with the trading pool dead card. Uh, trading pool dead card. Oh my days. The trading card dead pool card. I can't even speak now. I'm out of breath. I just forgot I had to run and get this one. Oh, that is funny. Well, this issue sold 53 copies. It had a seven day trend of plus 126% with a high sale raw copy. Can't believe it, going for $53.99. Insane prices. This is a dollar bin book all day long. There's so many of them printed. Mine does not have any card, and I paid £2.59 for mine in 2017. <laughs> what was I saying just then? <laughs> Number seven on our list is a book from 1972 More Bronze Age Goodness from Marvel. And it is more to do with Agnes and the basement to discover the Darkhold. Now, the Darkhold is a book of ancient scrolls written by the Marvel villain named Chithon or Scython, the world's first dark magician. Now, going back to the Doctor Strange movie, one book was missing from the library of Kamar Taj. Now, it's thought it was the Darkhold, which appears to be the source of Agnes's powers. Now, if Marvel are introducing the Darkhold, it could open up a much darker side to the Marvel Universe. The issue, number seven on our list, is Marvel Spotlight, issue number four, guys. It's a book I have never seen on my travels. There we go. A nice Werewolf by Night cover. And, uh... I'm a big fan of the Werewolf by Night. I need to add his first appearance to my collection. That book sold 32 copies. It had a seven day trend plus 230% with a CGC 9.0 going for $429, guys. Number six on our list, and I'm disappointed in this one because I've, uh, I have sold one of these a little while ago before it got hot. Not for much either. More One Division news, and the twins were introduced to Agnes's pet rabbit, Senor Scratchy, who also was seen in episode two. Now, in the comics, Agnetha Harkness has a son named Nicholas Scratch, whose first appearance is in this itch issue. Now, Nicholas is also a powerful wizard in the Marvel Universe and has a direct connection to both Mephisto and Dormammu. Now, the connection feels deliberate and a hint of what possibly could happen. However, it could be just a fun Easter egg. What is the book in question? Like I said, 1977, the book in question is Fantastic Four, issue 185, guys. There's your book. Like I said, I checked my comic book realm and I added, I thought, yes, but I just hadn't crossed it off. And uh, I sold it. So I'm a little bit disappointed, but I'll find that again. I'm pretty sure of that. The book sold 41 copies. It had a seven-day trend of plus 180% with a high sale raw copy, going for $29.99. Now, number five on our list. If you do check out my Western Supermare uh, hauls, this was a book that was there, and I left it there. Uh, it has nothing in the guts, but this book is selling crazily now. From 1989, more monochrome Rambo uh, goodness, is Captain Marvel, issue number one. And uh, it's a nice cover, but that's pretty much all it's got going for it. There's your book. This one is going very, very nicely at the moment. I could have picked that up for about a pound. But like I say, I had a, I had like 60 odd books on me at the time. I couldn't keep getting them. Wish I had though. Uh, that book sold 27 copies that had a seven day trend of plus 311% with a high sale CGC 9.8 going for $349.99. We'll see where that one ends up, that book. Number four on our list is a recent Marvel book. And I've said this before, it has the first appearance of a Teguki or Teguchi, who basically they're lining up as possibly an Asian kind of Captain America kind of character. Uh, book is taskmaster issue number three that is our number four book on our list this time around guys again i wouldn't mind adding this one but again i would not overpay for new issues what figures is it doing because i can imagine it's going quite nicely indeed well it sold 
89 copies, which is crazy. Actually, sorry, the standard issue sold 57 copies with a seven day trend of plus 400% and a high sale raw copy going for 29 copies, uh, $29, sorry. It'll be interesting to see where that character ends up. Now, number three in our list is back. It wasn't off my top 20 for long. This is Images staple book, isn't it, guys? Now, recently, Spawn creator Todd McFarlane announced four new Spawn ongoing series featuring on Gunslinger Spawn, Medieval Spawn, Redeemer Spawn, and She Spawn. Spawn, like I said, has always been a consistent seller on my top 20s, and this news gave this issue a nice boost indeed. The book in question, Spawn, number one. The book that pretty much started it all. Yeah, there was Malibu Sun 13, uh, but that's more of a preview. So I guess this would be classed as his first appearance. Of course, Spawn is Albert Francis Al Simmons. Uh, we had that Spawn movie, which is basically a B-movie, isn't it? But I've got it in my collection. It's also the first appearance of Mel Boglia, Jason Wynn, Wanda Fitzgerald. Uh, we're also in that film. We've got the first appearance of Sam and Twitch. I think Jeremy Renner's down to play one of those two characters. It's also... Uh, there's a pin up a pit in this issue. There's a second title published by Image Comics and some gorgeous Todd McFarlane artwork, of course. Uh, will we get that new Spawn movie as well? It's apparently starring Jamie Foxx. Time will tell. It's been put off for so long. But the book, this mass produced, sold 89 copies. It added seven day trend plus 118% with a high sale. This is a new record. CGC 9.8 going for $207.50 for the longest time. This was about a $120 book in CGC 9.8, so it's flying up. Glad to have that one. Carpet Tony delivered for £1.31. Nice copy. Uh, number two on our list. And this comes from Scout Comics, and this is an interesting one. Now, this is a very thoughtful and provocative book that earned its place on the list for simply being a great read. Not that I know anything about it, but I'll take their word for it. Now, this is set in an alternate reality where their social order of white and black is reversed. An elitist family, the Cottons, are rocked by a tragic shooting that begins to unravel long-standing family secrets. It could not only destroy the family, but also divide the fragile social climate of the world. Apparently, it comes highly recommended. The book in question, like I said, from Scout Comics, it's only just come out, is... Black Cotton, issue number one. Now, I've watched a lot of haul videos, guys. I've never seen this one on anybody's haul videos. But there we go. Black Cotton. Oh, let's get it back up. Like I say, selling extremely well indeed. And uh, the premise sounds very interesting. What did it do? Well, it sold 41 copies. It had a seven-day trend of plus 342%. The high sale raw copy going for $16.99. It's good to see just getting some nice bump up in value due to it being a good read. Sometimes it's better than just having a nice key, even though I'm a key man. Number one on our list. Uh, this comes from 2009. And I remember this character in the superhero, uh, the secret uh, superhero squad, was it? It was a kid's show, but I, I, I've watched it with me kids and I love it. I love it. Now, per news rama, uh, Marvel is billing Reptile as the next biggest hero. The article notes that Marvel is positioning the young Mexican-American superhero who can turn into dinosaurs as its next star. Marvel Comics will bring former Avengers Academy student Reptile to prominence in May in his first solo limited series. Yeah, a hero who can turn into dinosaurs. Sounds like a no-brainer to me. But uh, I have been looking for this book, I've got to be honest. The book in question, number one on our list this time round, is Avengers The Initiative featuring Reptile and his first appearance, guys. That is it. Look at that. I do like that cover. And like I say, he was a lot of fun in that superhero squad. The book sold 12 copies. It had a seven-day trend plus 1,266% and a high sale raw copy going for $69.99, guys. That's it. That's a wrap. Let's find out how many does he have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm always going to give myself half a point for that. Seven and a half out of 20, guys. As always, let me know in the comments how you got on. 
If you like what you see, please like and subscribe, ding that notification bell, and check out my playlists of all my top 20s. They're a lot good fun. Bye for now.